Uh, look, hi everyone, I hope you're having a great week. Uh, last weekend we had the Region Commissioner, the District Commissioner and the Queensland Branch Rover Council Conference at baden Powell Park at Sanford. Over 65 attendees across the whole weekend and there was some joint session on topics such as our strategic plan, uh, an update on training, the branch youth program team, a bit of an update on the online application status, where that's at, and some uh, updates from the branch support office. There are also a couple of workshops around our insurance and how can we retain young people. So there's going to be some actions coming out over, over the next week. Um, one outcome already delivered is that we are now providing assistant district commissioners with access to the district commissioners teams portal uh, and that is allow, will allow improved communication and access to tools that will support those assistant DCs in their role. These conferences are a real opportunity for great interaction, for sharing of best practice and a chance to throw questions directly to the Chief Commissioner. But overall there is strong support for where we're heading um, as outlined in our strategic plan. Look, please don't forget that the branch annual general meeting is being held on Thursday the 27th of July at Brackenridge Scout Den in Tomar Road, Brackenridge at 7pm. This is a really great opportunity for Scouts Queensland to highlight what we're doing to the community. So if you've got the chance to attend, I'd love to see you there. Nearly all of our groups are now utilising Operoo, and this tool significantly streamlines our program delivery by providing easy access to crucial medical information for our members. Operu also facilitates seamless communications with parents and carers uh, and eliminates the need for paper-based C4 approval forms. In this newsletter, there's an article that you'll find that delves deeper into uh, the review of the medical information prior to an activity. So I would encourage all of you to have a look at that to ensure that you are using all the features offered by Operu and that will make sure that we keep our members safe. The other exciting opportunity is the camp at Government House in Canberra in September school holidays. Registrations are open and they close on the 31st of July. The cost is $750 for youth members, $250 for leaders. But please be aware this cost does not include your travel to the event. Um, we've had some applications come in, which is fantastic, and we'll wait till the closing date to see how we can work with the young people and leaders that have applied to make sure we get them uh, to that activity in September, which is going to be a once in a lifetime opportunity. Also, please don't forget that the third AFKI session um, is now available, and this session is available from your DC or your RC, and it's also been loaded into the AFKI Teams portal. Over this week, the Branch Executive Committee has continued the recruitment phase for the General Manager role at the Branch Support Office, and we're hoping that we'll have, have that finalised very, very shortly. I had the chance this week uh, to commence a couple of conversations with some other community-based groups about how we might be able to work together to achieve mutual outcomes, potentially around the use of some of our facilities, but also seeking to support some vulnerable people who may be able to uh, participate in our youth program. Finally, we're still talking to the Department of Sport and Recreation around that $1 million funding grant that we have been provided through the state government. So stay tuned. I hope you have a fantastic week and good scouting.